All right, friends, we're going to talk about ApoB or apolipoprotein B, what you need to know. So get ready. If you are concerned about cholesterol, we're going to talk about ApoB in this particular presentation. I'm cardiologist Dr. Jack Wolfson, founder of NHD, Natural Heart Doctor. So this is the LDL particle. And the LDL particle is the bus that carries passengers around the body. Now, if we also think about LDL as like a baseball, the stitching on the baseball is called ApoB, which is short for apolipoprotein B100. And it is a very important molecule, just like the stitching of a baseball is very important. That's what helps keep it together. There's a lot of different components to an LDL and to a baseball, and they are all very important and one cannot function without the other. Now, also in the LP, uh, particle is this. Um, also, I, I do want to say this is that everything with a spine, all vertebrates have LDLs. They all have ApoB in these LDL particles. So it's really important, obviously, throughout all these different species. So whenever it's called bad, ApoB is bad or LDL is bad, we have to remember that all of these animals everything with a spine has ldl so why would it be bad and i'm going to tell you that ldl is not bad and apob is not bad but we want to find the perfect level for each one of us there is definitely times when apob is too low there are definitely times when apob is too high the answer is not the pharmaceuticals the answer is to figure out why so what does ApoB do? Again, ApoB is the structural backbone of the particle. It's just, as you can see them putting together a bus here, it helps to give the shape to the LDLs and the VLDLs and the IDLs and LP little a type particles. It gives the shape, the stability, the integrity, and the ApoB helps with the binding of where LDL particles need to go. Now remember, the LDL is very important and the ApoB that's on there is very important. Now the passengers on this LDL bus are critical. The passengers on the bus include what you see right there, including the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, K. CoQ10 is on there. It's got antioxidant functions, helps to clear out toxins as well. So it's a very important molecule. Now the liver has these LDL receptors or the catcher's mitts for the LDLs and the ApoB is responsible for the docking of the LDL particles. We've known that for quite some time. And this is really where the rubber meets the road. We want to make sure that we have a lot of good clearance of the ApoB particles. So what causes elevated ApoB? Well, well let's look at these here. Number one, we've got elevated blood sugar, high insulin, and obesity. And when you have that, you have more ApoB particles being formed, and you have the fact that the liver does not clear out the ApoBs. So we wanna have a healthy diet and healthy lifestyle in order to normalize our blood sugar. Number two, when you have oxidative stress from damaged oils, environmental toxins, mitochondrial dysfunction, then again, that's going to lead to elevated levels of ApoB, as will inflammation, same thing. When you have leaky gut, you have elevated lipopolysaccharides, things get into the body that don't belong, that interferes with ApoB production, and, excuse me, clearance, and then also things like alcohol, sleep apnea, thyroid disorders, cortisol elevation, those can all impact ApoB. Now, here's also where we get into some genetic issues that could raise ApoB levels in people where, again, you have some uncommon things, but they do happen, and this can be on a genetic uh, basis. But again, it's not very common. The obvious thing is that what happens is, is that we do not have a good interaction between the LDL particle with its ApoB and the receptor. So these two do not interact with each other for the whole variety of reasons. So when you have a lot of oxidative damage, a lot of inflammation, a lot of metals, a lot of mold mycotoxins, autoimmune attack on either one of these particles, you know, proteins on the, on the LDL or 
the ApoB on here or the receptor, a lot of things can go wrong. And that's why ultimately one cause of elevated ApoB is not st statin deficiency, right? That's not why it's high because you're deficient in Lipitor, Crest, or Zocor. You're deficient in something very important, which of course is the 100-year heart strategy. So the strategy for the perfect ApoB is you get more of the good stuff and less of the bad stuff. You get more of the high quality food, organic food, seafood, regeneratively raised animal products. You get more sunshine, you get more high quality sleep, you get more movement. Those are the things you get good dental care. Those are, that's more of the good stuff. And then you get less of the bad stuff. Less of the bad stuff are all those environmental toxins that we talked about all of the mold mycotoxins, bacterial toxins, lipopolysaccharides from leaky gut. You also think about all the plastics and phthalates and parabens. And ultimately these things can lead to autoimmune attack on the ApoB uh, particle. So therefore it's not cleared. And now you get more of these ApoBs circulating around on these small dense LDL particles. And that is linked to a problem because now those get into the blood vessels and they don't get cleared. They generate more oxidative stress, more inflammation, more free radical damage. So the answer, like I said, is not going to be statin drugs just to lower the number down. We can actually use our concept of eat well, live well, think well in order to optimize our ApoB levels. If we want some nudging, of the ApoBs from the supplement realm. Well, one thing that does that is berberine, other things, quercetin, resveratrol, curcumin, ginger, green tea extract, uh, silymarin, all those things can play a role. And that's why we put that into our product called Optilipid, O-P-T-I-L-I-P-I-D. I'll put the link to Optilipid in the comments uh, below. But ultimately, you want to make sure that you're getting the right ApoBs. You can check your ApoB, ApoA ratio. And that's something that we do at Natural Heart Doctor. You can ask your doctor for that ratio as well. The lower, the, uh, the better on that ratio. So we have less ApoBs, more ApoAs uh, that are there. Those are apolipoprotein big A. Apolipoprotein or uh, lipoprotein little a is a different entity. So there's big A and there's little a, a little bit of confusing nomenclature there, but that's what we do here at Natural Heart Doctor. We'll help you figure it out. So check the comments and we will go from there.